Would you please help me in welcoming Mr. Brian Dellett. I was back in Vietnam um, twice in the past year now, for the first time in whatever, 40-some years, and I didn't like it when I went back last year. I didn't have a good time. I, I felt like old wounds got opened up, <clears throat> and it took me to go back a second time this past January, and the, the, the miracle, the divine miracle that happened for me personally was I got to go stand in the AO where I had been and where some people had gotten hurt. And um, I took a moment to be quiet and to just commune as much as possible with, um, with God and whatever energy was around me. And I just felt like I heard, forgive me for saying it like this, it sounds a little woo-woo, but I felt like I heard that sort of chanting or blessings that came from the guys who didn't get home. And so um, I feel a, a, a blessing in that regard. And so I, I dedicate um, this little piece of, of uh, text from 1600 uh, to them. Um, anyway, the, the piece of text is from the play Henry V. It's called the Crispin Day Speech. And you'll hear the words Crispin, Crispian uh, a few times. And I liken those to um, any of our historic battles, whether it's the Battle of Trenton or the Battle of Gettysburg or Quezon or the Battle of the Bulge. Um, but it's about remembrance. And in the play, um, King Henry is, 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 and his soldiers uh, is based on the Battle of Agincourt in 1415. And the French outnumbered the English like five to one. And the word had, had, that was going around was that the French were not going to take any prisoners. So uh, King Henry had to rally his troops. And it's a, it's a lengthier speech, and I'm just going to give you the part that I think is important for today, which is about remembrance. Because one of his men says to him, he says, if we had only had 10,000 men from England at this time. And, uh, uh, and Henry says to his men, this day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that shall see this day and live old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, tomorrow is the feast of Crispian. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Crispian's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, be in their flowing cups, freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and crisp and Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, shall think themselves accursed. They were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day. God bless America. Wow, words written 400 years ago still stir. Thank you so much, Brian. 